It is tax season and many of you have already received all the documents you need to file. But for 2020, due to the unprecedented unemployment, Form 1099-G has been arriving in more mailboxes than ever before. Focus investigator Tron Charlton is here explaining why that has delivered a lot of confusion and complaints. If you collected unemployment in 2020, the IRS requires you when filing your taxes to include the total unemployment compensation listed in box number one on your 1099-G. That could be a substantial number. The 1099-G, the G standing for G whiz, I never got that much from unemployment. But if you were one of the filers from the beginning of the pandemic in March and through July, that extra $600 per week from the federal government plus the $300 payments times three from FEMA, on top of which Kentucky added another $100 to, that equals thousands, even tens of thousands of dollars in unemployment benefits. Most common confusion is whether or not this compensation is taxable. And it absolutely is. At a federal and a state level. According to Tim Riney, a tax planner and CPA with the Family Wealth Group in Louisville. That income is separate from the one-time stimulus payments of $1,200 per person. The stimulus amounts and checks that we all received is not taxable. Folks signing up for unemployment could choose whether or not to have taxes withheld. And if they didn't, and if they didn't realize those extra weekly federal payments are included in unemployment compensation. What's done is done. They will likely have to owe quite a bit of money. The IRS has typically not been very forgiving. It could all be one big misunderstanding, though. Many have complained to Focus that they did the math, did it correctly, but the amount on their 1099G is incorrect. What should people do if they have an issue and they're waiting to get it cleared up? What should they do about filing their taxes? Most of the time, like on all tax documents, it's going to be a misunderstanding. Amy? Please check it as soon as you get it so that you, we can give you the attention you need so that you can make all of your filing deadlines. The first step towards a corrected 1099-G is emailing state unemployment at KYOU1099 at KY.gov. Riney, however, warns don't wait too long for that correction. Complete your return with what you expect to pay and pay that amount on April 15th. You can always file an extension and clean that up when, when that extension is due. The IRS provided some guidance on the issue. The agency says if you don't expect to receive a corrected 1099-G in a timely manner, you should go ahead and file an accurate return, reporting only the compensation you have received. For Focus, I'm John Charlton.